Yeah, it doesn't work with Punishing Smash. It only works if you're using Destroy Brock. Damn, there's no end to these things! I guess I'm just going because you told me to. The barrier failed right as the monsters appeared? What the hell is going on in this city? I've lived in Dongress my whole life, but I've never seen anything like this. So why the hell do we have such terrible timing? Oh. How should I know? What? You don't really think I'm cursed, do you? I just happen to be unlucky. And everything that I do. should be fine. It's not a super duper hard fight that's coming up. I haven't been talking to NPCs, but I didn't plan on stopping in Dockers this long. I just came here to fill up on stuff. But We're too late. I couldn't get the minestrone so recipe without triggering all this. Out of the way. <sighs> Pretty sure their dialogue changes too before this happens, but hmm. I might be able We're not to missing do much. With this. Rita, watch out! Behind you! We won't let you fix the barrier! What the hell? It's just one thing after another! I'm sick of this! Like, some of the, you know, pasted over sloppy. voice acting isn't so bad. It's just horribly, horribly noticeable in combat whenever, you know, Yuri's like, you know, It's over! And all of a sudden, Concealed Wave! Same thing with... You know how it was in Tales of Symphonia, except with Tales of Symphonia it was even worse. Because it's like, Grand Cross! But it sounds like it's buried in the mix and low audio quality. Like overall, the voice acting quality itself isn't like absolutely terrible. It's just like, you know, it's overly noticeable when you're used to good voice acting, you know? Because overall, I would say the voice acting is probably we one of the best out of the all these games quickly. in this one. Tezophony has some funny bad voice acting. Like, there are some genius moments that are those hilarious. Guys to think for the barrier blast you failing on us. But why? But the it's voice like acting in this one is really good. Here. The voice acting in Tales of the Abyss is excellent. Excellent. So the Don's little lecture didn't stick? Let me try to think. 
Eternia's bad, but like funny bad. I'm just doing what I can to help. How's the repair of the barrier blast here going? Read. That'll depend on the Jeez, Mary, you're here. really stupid, or whatever the fuck I say. The core Farrah. is still there. They Farrah? Just with your formula what is it that you are doing, Farrah? And this formula again. The same as they were using back on Emmeed Hill. Oh, but we're gonna get to that, though. But I wanna do a couple plays of this first. A couple attacked. of game pluses of this. It can't be a coincidence that they happen. Because, like, the this is probably time, my it? favorite game in the series. Probably not. So does your but it's tied very, tied very, very close to Tales of the Abyss. And, um, I don't know. I mean, not tied. That's why I, I came here to check things out. Pretty, pretty neck and neck. Like this, this just edges shit. out over Tales of the Abyss, and then it tells the phone Like I said, Legendia had a pretty cool story, but it's like. Right, the first half the of that game is voice barrier. acted, and the second Don't half is completely not complain voice complain acted. And the it's the second half that tells the real story of the entire thing. It's like finding Stella and Shirley is like only the first half of the game. And after that, it's like you kind of go into each person's like story and what their reason for being on the giant ship is, or I forget what the fuck exactly it is. It's been years since I played that game. We'll leave the monsters to Flynn. Let's go to the but, Union um, and ask about Barbos. You find Stella and Shirley, and you kill the guy responsible for kidnapping you really Shirley. Trust Flynn, don't you? And then only uh, because there's no one else I can trust. That's how I look at it. That's sort of like there's this major freaking story going on sometimes. in the background, but uh, it's unvoice acted, and there are some cute moments, like at the end of how many Chloe's kills are story there in the arc. City? I don't know the exact like number, but I her, think there are more than a hundred. Whoa, that many? Her frailty, her are fragility. Are all of them in the Union? No, not all cute. of them, but I guess around 90% of them are Union members. Because personally, wow. I was more the of a at the top of them all. Sentinel X Chloe the guy's amazing. person. That's why he's the Dawn! What are you so proud about? The Dawn's the amazing one, not you. Sorry, I just like putting, you know, all of my self-confidence into the things that I like, like many people. I mean, I've been guilty of that in the past, but once you, once someone, you know, lifts the veil and points it out to you, like, hey, why do you care so much about something that isn't yours? Like, it's something that you like, and you take offense to when someone, you know, dislikes something that you like, it's like, well, you really shouldn't take offense because it's not something you created. Unless it happens to be something you do create, and you also like the thing you create, and people are bashing on it, then I could see getting offended about it, but... Even then, you have to realize people have their own stupid, you know, opinions, and they're entitled to those opinions just like you're entitled to yours, so... The quicker you come to that realization, the quicker you can just shrug shit like that off while it's like, oh, well, you don't like it, well, it's your prerogative. Welcome to the Gourmet Banquet's Bistro Black Hole Cooking Stadium! Days without events are open to the public, so we hope you enjoy yourselves. Like, yeah, you can come in here now. And apparently you can buy ingredients here, but they're sold out right now, so. The best ingredients. Excuse me. Kitchen and chef there can be, the result has to be delicious, but even if one of those is missing, you cannot make a fine meal. Oh, this pot uses master artisan steel made by the soulsmiths. It conducts and retains heat better than anything else out there. Dongress has a very different atmosphere from the capital, doesn't it? The city seems so energetic. Everyone here is so full of life. Of course. It's the largest guild city. Everyone lives according to their own principles. Do you like Dongrass, Estelle? Yes, I think it's lovely. What about you, Yuri? Hmm? I think it'd be a really great city if the barrier wasn't crapping out. Yuri, will you <laughs> please let that go? I'm kidding. The city's not bad at all. It even feels kind of like the lower quarter. Why is it always twilight here, though? You get used to it. Bonjour, welcome to the Guild Gourmet Banquet. Our fine selection is so popular that everything is sold out. Pardon. Only a handful of people can sit on one of those chairs. I'd like to sit there and dine one day. See how it gives off that, like, kitchen stadium vibe from Iron Chef? Pretty sure that's what it's kind of, you know, paying homage to. I heard I could buy all the best ingredients here, so here I am, but everything was sold out when I got here. Too bad. They say they've been having trouble on their trade routes recently. I just hope somebody does something soon. 
Hey, I'm not an ingredient, so don't try anything funny. I'm training to become a master chef. It's mostly been eating so far, though. Ah, are they trying to fatten me up to eat me? No, of course not. Quit joking around or I'll cut you up and put you in a stew. I don't get what their thing is with cow people. Like, they're just people in costumes, right? Like, do they die if you take the costume off? Because that's a staple in these games. The cats from... Oh, hey, look at that. Getting attacked by a huge pack of monsters right after Ravnica? Having fun yet? That guy wasn't there before, was he? That really was amazing. What a city. The citizens defended all by themselves. And that man, the one they call the Dawn. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they say different things prior to the attack, but it's okay. We take the barriers for granted, but when you think about it, they're pretty incredible. They're so much a part of our lives that nobody thinks too hard about them, but... I just don't know about those 